Welcome back. Uh, this is the second exercise in the uh, basic series for the uh, Intro to 1, 2, 3D Design classes. Uh, and in this exercise, we're basically making this uh, little boat that you see here. Now, when I first started doing these videos almost a year ago, uh, there were a lot of a lot of sloppy techniques I, I had to use to make this boat. But ever since doing it in the live class about, you know, uh, five dozen times, um, we've... Uh, I've pretty much perfected how to do this in, in a much simpler manner and a lot less messing around. So I'm just going to get right down to it, and uh, we'll see how quickly we can do this one. Now, this uh, starts with a combo drawing. Uh, it starts by drawing a polyline, and I cross it across two of these big squares, or basically 50 millimeters. And then I want to select the existing polyline and add some splines to it, going like this, stopping here, stopping here, and stopping right there okay and I'm gonna I'm gonna stop drawing here because if I keep drawing I'm gonna get a curved end on the front of that boat I'm actually gonna add a different polyline sorry spline uh, over on this end stop right here a little up here just to match the other side and end it right there now where did I get sloppy oh I see it That's better, much more symmetrical. All right, from here, all we got to do is extrude it. Where's my extrude under construct? And I'm going to bring it up about 25 millimeters. You can see the original boat has this kind of lean on the back of it, and that's real easy to do using the tweak tool over here in my modify menu. And tweak the back panel of this and it down about 20 degrees okay at this point I'm, I'm ready to just delete that sketch I don't need that in the way and I'm gonna come around underneath and this is a little bit of a tricky part because when you obviously you're gonna fill it these edges but you can't do them one at a time or else you get something like this and then when you try to come around to fill it the other side you can't grab the other edge as a well you can but then you get some weird effect here so that's no good what I want to do is I want to select both edges first so click and shift click and then fill it these two bring it up like that and there's the shape now we just shell it make the thickness go outside I'm going to give it about six millimeters to give myself a little bit of room here to select things on the hole. Okay, now to create the ore holes over here, I need to break this face right there up. I need to create four breaks, basically. One here, one here, one here, and one here. And I can do that with one simple operation using the split face command. And I'm going to create it by doing a sketch that goes across here, like that. The approximate thickness that I want the ore slats. And over here under, yeah, modify, here's my split face. I'm going to choose the boat as the, uh, sorry, this top face of the boat as the face to split. And then I'm going to let it know I'm selecting a splitting entity. And I am choosing the outline of this sketch as the splitting entity, hitting enter. And there it is. I can get rid of my sketch now. And all I got to do is press pull these guys up. Bring them up about 7 to 8 millimeters. Chamfer these edges. Come on. There we go. Ah, come on. There. So got, I got some chamfered. Didn't go all the way, but that'll look okay. And then all I have to do is take a small cylinder, basically a radius of about 1.5, but I'm going to give it plenty of height so that when I turn this over, it stretches across the uh, both, both of the ore slats. Now, uh, I found that the hard way to do this was to try to you know, rotate it like this and then look at it from this direction and 
then kind of do this, and then probably turn it into orthographic view. But I found that I could self, save myself a lot of time by just snapping while not grouped. While group, while snapping is toggled off. By snapping the side of the cylinder to the top of this, and you see it does all my rotating and alignment for me, and all I have to do is then just move it down a little bit. Maybe a little more. There we go. And with that right there, I'm ready to just subtract a hole right through the sides. That pretty much does it. Uh, if I want to add in like a little seat, it's really easy to do. I just grab my sketch menu, grab a polyline over here, and I want to draw right on the, right on the, uh, whatchamacallit, this thing, on the, on the, on the rim. And I'm just going to draw it going like this, going like that, doing another parallel over here, and connecting right there. Okay, so I have a sketch, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude it going downwards. Now, at first, it's going to try to be a subtractive extrude because it's crossing the border of a solid, but all I have to do is just make it a new solid instead and let that go, move it down if I want to. Merge together. And give it a recoloring. And that's all there was to it. So there is our nice little boat. And that'll wrap up exercise number two for the basic series of Intro to 123D Design. Happy 3D modeling.